As you can see, we've harvested the chicken of the woods, the two big bagfuls. And as we were sitting here cutting, harvesting, we look over, and about 50 yards, I swear I can see something growing on the side of this other tree over here. So let's take a walk and see what else we see. I think we've got some pheasant bats, guys. Nice. A big tree of pheasant bats. Cut through there with the camera because uh, that big tree is going to trip you up. I see it. Right in front of us. Those are huge. See how they're stacked in a shelf like that? There's a shelf of polypores. Yeah. Oh wow, look at them all over on this side. Look at them all. All around this whole tree. Oh cool. Big shelves of them on every every around every corner there's a big shelf. Shows, shows. That one's like that one's eight deep. Looks like it might have been nine. Somebody cut the top layer off. It was nine shells deep. There's a big one growing out of the side of the log over here. They're huge over here. Oh, big snail on him. Nice big snail enjoying himself a mushroom. There he is. Someone's having some breakfast. He dried out one. We cut him off yesterday. Shh, don't tell nobody. We'll edit that part out of the video. He was the ninth layer to the top shelf. Yeah, I can stick him back on there. Right up in there like that. It really was. It's crazy. Cut him off yesterday. I'm just gonna leave him here. He's already turning brown. Look at the big dead dried one up about ten feet up. Oh yeah, nice and crusty. That's two trees within about fifty yards of each other and they're both just gold mines for their their fungus type i wish these were little and edible yummy yeah now we just need to find the morels i gotta keep looking